So today I'm gonna to share with you five vegetables that you can plant right now that love the cold weather and you can start harvesting in about a month. So stay tuned. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go through five vegetables that you can plant right now in your garden that you can harvest in as short as a month. Uh, some of these will take a little bit longer, but um, I have some little tips for you. So when it comes to planting vegetables, one thing, and I'll, at some point I'll probably go through um, how to read a seed packet, but for now, one thing that I'm gonna talk to you about is when you're looking at a seed packet, not all of them, but a lot of them, will say um, how many days until maturity. What it means is it will take about that many days until the plant is ready to be harvested or you're ready to like pick the leaves off or whatever that is. To you, as you can see here, what we're looking for is something like this, 26 days to maturity. Um, that's a really fast one. You don't very often see them like that. Um, another one here, I have spinach, 45 days. That's basically, it'll take 45 days until the leaves are really big and you can um, harvest them. So I did check today, a lot of the smaller companies such as Baker Creek Heirloom Seed, Territorial Seed Company, um, those did have something on their website saying that they are behind on orders because they have had a big volume of people suddenly ordering. I wonder why. <laughs> anyway, a lot of the uh, bigger companies like Burpees, Park Seeds, Stark Seeds, some of those seem to be doing okay at this point. So you'll just you may have to wait for some seeds. I was in Fred Meyer's the other day, and they had racks of seeds in there. So you might have to look more in stores, which I know some people are trying to avoid stores right now. Um, but just be patient if you do order. It does seem like uh, some of the companies are uh, having trouble keeping up with all the orders. Okay, so vegetable number one, radishes. Um, this is actually the first year that I'm gonna be planting radishes. I planted some yesterday, um, but these are fantastic. These are probably one of the fastest growing vegetables you can plant right now in your garden, and they do great in this kind of weather. Radishes are really good. You can slice up in salads, fresh, or um, you can roast them with potatoes and get kind of more of a sweet flavor. They're a little more mild when you uh, roast them or bake them. And the other thing is the leaves are also edible. They can get a little prickly, I understand, as um, time goes on. But this one here says it's 26 days to maturity. So we're talking less than a month when you can start picking these. So fantastic one to put in your garden right now. Vegetable number two is leaf lettuce. Um, now I'm going to make a difference here between uh, leaf lettuce versus head lettuce. Leaf lettuce will produce a little bit faster versus a head lettuce if you want it to get to a nice ball like a head like you're usually see in a store, it's gonna take a bit longer to get there. With leaf lettuce though, as soon as those plants are you know, a few inches tall, you can start picking the leaves off. Another key thing with lettuce, leaf lettuce, is if you um, pull up the whole plant, the plant is done. If you instead rip off leaves or uh, trim the leaves, it'll keep producing for quite a while. A, a tip with leaf lettuce, I haven't done this, but this certainly is a great option if you live somewhere up north and the weather is a lot colder and it's gonna be a while before you plant stuff in the garden. Um, some people buy a big bag of soil mix, garden mix, and you just lay it down and then you cut you know, a hole in the top, a really large hole, and just leave it like that. And then you just plant your lettuce seeds right in that uh, garden mix and water it, put it in a sunny spot, and um, it'll start producing leaves. You can do that pretty much all the way through winter. So a really great option until you're ready to start, um, you know, putting stuff in the garden. Another vegetable that I have not tried, I'm gonna try this year, is um, bok choy. This one is bok choy uh, by Ed Hume Seeds. I planted some just the other day. This one takes about 49 days to maturity. It's a little bit longer, but you can still, um, you can start harvesting the, the leaves off even a little sooner. This is delicious stir fried, like vegetables, stir fried, curries. Whenever you go to an Asian restaurant and you eat something that kind of looks or tastes like celery, it's probably bok choy. Vegetable number four is snap peas. Um, there are sugar snap peas, snow peas. This one does take a little longer. It says 70 days to maturity. Um, but the good news is once you plant it now, we're talking about a month and a half to two months, they'll start producing little pods and you can start eating those. Um, I love these. My husband and I are addicted to these. We just eat them raw, but they're really good stir fried as well. Um, 
So give it a try. Vegetable number five is actually a mix of vegetables. It's all your dark leafy greens. We're talking uh, your kale, your spinach, your Swiss chard. Uh, these do say, like I'm gonna read the back here. This one says on the Swiss chard, 55 days to maturity, which is actually still really uh, soon. But the good news is, especially with things like kale and spinach, as soon as the, um, the leaves are, you know, a couple inches tall, you can start picking some of those leaves off and having what we, what we call like baby greens. You've probably seen those in bags and stores, like baby spinach, baby kale. Uh, that's what it is. Basically, they just picked the leaves when uh, the plant was still really small and they're, it's very tender and really sweet. What's really great with your leafy greens is you can just scatter some seeds and then uh, start picking, as soon as they're a few inches tall, start picking those baby greens, but don't pull up the whole plant. If you don't pull up the whole plant, that'll give the plant a chance to, to continue to grow as long as you don't pick all the leaves off. It needs a, a way to photosynthesize. But if you pick some of the leaves off, the plant will get larger and you'll continue to be able to harvest through most of the summer with a lot of these. My husband and I pretty much live off of these. Uh, I What I do with the kale, right now I have kale in my garden, I just clean it off, let it air dry, throw it in a bag and freeze it. And then every morning when I make my green smoothie, I just take a handful of frozen kale, still has all the wonderful nutrients, it's just frozen in there. And I throw it in my smoothie and it whizzes it up. You won't know the difference. So what if you only have one garden bed? Here's what I would do. I would plant all these that I just mentioned. I would plant your radishes, your leafy greens, your lettuces. I would scatter those throughout the bed. And then um, after about a month, as you're pulling up your radishes, um, you're gonna start getting patches where there's no vegetables and start leaving some patches where in a, later in the spring, you can plant your tomato plants that don't, they don't handle cold as well as these do. Um, so in about May, June, depending on your climate, um, once you've created those patches, you can put your tomato plants there. And as the tomato plant grows, it'll create some shade and you can actually have those vegetables growing around your tomato plant. That would be your best bet for a quick and early garden, but also looking into the long term throughout the rest of your summer as well, utilizing that bed. A couple other things to consider. Um, these are not part of the vegetables I was just describing, but if you do want to plant uh, tomatoes, plan on the smaller tomatoes, such as cherry tomatoes, pear tomatoes, um, great tomatoes. The smaller the tomato, the sooner it will start producing for you. If you pick something like a big beefsteak tomato, those take, I mean, a very long time, especially in my climate where we're not, we don't get very hot for a while and our season is actually kind of short. So plan on uh, cherry tomatoes or something like that with the smaller tomatoes. Another thing, if you want fruit, um, I would recommend strawberries. Go straight to the strawberries. Strawberries, when you plant them, you plant them now. They will produce this year. A lot of your other berries, such as blueberries, uh, blackberries, raspberries, all of those take a couple years to uh, start producing. If you want fruit this year right away, plant on your strawberries. So there you have it. A few vegetables that you can plant right now and start harvesting in as short as a month. I hope you liked that. Uh, go out and plant something. God bless.